Hey guys, it's Car Guy 11. I have my Mach-E behind me and today I want to go over the over the air update process on the vehicle. A lot of people have problems with it. I just got one. I just got a notification on my screen and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks along the way to help you get these installed on your vehicle. Now I previously made a video showing how you can see your over the air update status. Like if there's an error that happens, if it failed to update your vehicle, it will show on that website. I will link it below and in the card above. Also, I am gonna put a phone number below for Ford over the air update support. They are actually very useful and they can see the back end on their system if your car is scheduled for an update, if an update failed. Um, I've actually called them a few times and and they've been able to tell me uh, pretty good info actually for, for a call center. Definitely check that out if you're having trouble. And also, of course, you may have to go visit the dealer. I did have to do that on my vehicle to have them manually update some components, but you know, such as life on this newest technology. So let me show you the process right now of when you see an update on your display screen. So guys, a couple things to start. There's a lot of misconceptions about the over the air updates. First of all, you should be seeing this symbol on your sync display showing the arrows pointing up and down. That means the car is communicating with Ford to check the vehicle if there are, are any updates and to download the update when available. Now this symbol right here, I am parked outside my home and I have Wi-Fi connected. The over the air updates typically do not download on Wi-Fi. That is a misconception. You need to be driving the vehicle in an AT&T cell phone area for it to download on cell data plan that's built in to the vehicle so that's when you will download it you need to drive your vehicle it helps to drive your vehicle daily even for a short 10 minute trip to have the vehicle check the ford servers if there's any updates i just took a short trip and the update popped up now you don't have to immediately install it when the update message pops up on the screen so i just want to show you i am in drive and every time you put it back into park you will see the update screen pop up at the top of the sync screen and it says software update reminder. Now this will typically want you to update it at your scheduled update time, which I have mine set for 3 a.m. I actually recommend not doing this for a few reasons. Uh, now you can up, you can change this update time to whatever you want. You can't even change it to while you're driving the vehicle, that's fine. I have mine set this way because I like to manually update as I'm gonna show you here. The best thing to do is if you're, if you're going to be parked someplace for half an hour, hour or so, just update it then and there and I'm going to show you how. Now I like I said I took a short trip. It this popped up. I wasn't going to be staying there very long, so I didn't install it. So I now I'm coming back home. This update pops up again and now I can manually install because I know I'm going to be home for a while. So it only says it actually takes 12 minutes uh, to install it, but this will make your vehicle inoperative. Not all updates require the vehicle to be not usable. Some just update on their own and, and restart, say, the sync screen when they are complete. But more often than not, it seems, they are these inhibit updates, they're called. You have three options here, reschedule, details, and close. You're gonna wanna hit details. It's gonna tell you about the update and it's just said smart changes, power up. This one doesn't really give you a lot of details. Unfortunately, um, a lot of them don't. You're gonna hit update now because you really don't wanna wait to install it for a particular reason. The 12 volt battery in your Mach-E needs to be close to fully charged. And if it's too low, it will not actually update the vehicle. So there are ways to see what the state of charge is of the 12 volt battery. 
Uh, I'm not going to get into that today. You can use an OBD app to do that. But generally, if you're driving a vehicle daily or, or if you're taking a long drive, it should sufficiently charge your battery. And this is why you want to just go ahead and update it now because I drove the vehicle. All the preconditions are met to install it now. So I'm just going to hit update now. Now it's going to say it will take up to 12 minutes, which is totally fine. And your vehicle will be unavailable during the update. So I'm going to hit continue. And it says turn the vehicle off to continue. And you have to exit and secure the vehicle. I'm going to try to put down the window and see if we can watch it during the update process. So I'm going to turn it off. Now, update will start in 120 seconds. Exit and secure the vehicle. You're not going to be able to lock, unlock, or enter the vehicle, and the alarm may just be disabled. So I'm going to get out and lock the car, take you guys along. I'm just going to hit this lock button right here. Close the door. It locked. And... We're going to watch it. Starts with preparing update. All right. Now we're moved on to software updating. The update could take up to 12 minutes. It says during the update, you cannot use your vehicle in any way, including driving or unlocking the doors. All right. Just popped up update successful overall i think the process took around eight minutes it said 12 so under that which is good i'm gonna let it sit for a while let everything shut down and then when i come back in in several minutes um, it should tell me the same thing update successful all right guys it's been about 10 minutes i let the car fully shut down and in that time i did get a notification on my ford pass app that the car has been updated also i looked on the ford website and it has confirmed it's been updated and i even did the technique i showed in my previous video about over the air updates on the website it does show update successful. So everything looks good. Let's start it up, turn it on, see what it says in car now. Okay, <laughs> my radio st station is on AM. I just noticed that popped up, but it did say completed. Let's see if I hit update now, there's no updates and everything been updated there so let's close this yes the radio stations have been reset now this has happened the last two times previous to that my radio stations have always been kept so i'm not exactly sure why the only thing i could say is possibly i have to wait longer to restart the car the update has been successful uh, let me know in the comments below if you're still having problems i can try to answer some questions definitely reach out to your dealer or to those other resources if you're having problems you want to have the most updated software on this new technology vehicle like this it's just going to improve the experience the driving experience the reliability of the battery you know, takes care of HVAC issues and all kinds of other things. So that's one of the great things about having an over-the-air updatable vehicle is a lot of bugs get taken care of in these over-the-air updates. But all right, guys, I'm still enjoying my experience over 5,000 miles now on my Mach-E and looking forward to the new Blue Cruise 1.3 they recently announced that sh we should be getting updates, over the air updates for that um, later this summer, fall. So I will definitely be making a video once I get that new update. But all right guys, hope you're enjoying the channel. Please subscribe if you haven't, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.